not not I don't you don't I don't you know I don't not fishing for compliments. But that's just kind of how it's been. I've just bit, sort of started racing downhill, loved it, still love it, still have a go at it now and enjoy every every bit of it. Um, but I've never won World Cups, never won World Championships. I've been top fives and bloody blah. And then snapped my ACL in 2012. Mm. Then that put me out for a year, and then I was no longer really in the top five, ten mix every weekend. And then when I wasn't in the top five, ten mix every week, and I kind of lost interest is not the word, but just sort of thought, shit, maybe I need to sort of like pick someone else up or like. So then I just, I, can't, I really can't remember how it started. Why I went to a free ride event or started doing that. But me and Ollie, obviously as kids, would do dirt jumps all the time. Mm. And then. I don't know, just doing videos and then did a few little other events. Mate, I've never thought about your ACL being like, you think of it as like a hundred percent turning, turning. It, yeah. We were talking about last night when we were walking back from dinner about that, we called it hot hands, right? When you, is it hot hands? It yeah. was hot hands, right? Where, you, where you've got that momentum and if someone takes that momentum away from you, it's hard to yeah. get back going again. Well, the year before I snapped my ACL, I snapped my ACL at the first round, which was in Peter Meritzburg, South Africa. So how old are you at this point? Oh, I can't remember. But the year before, I was fighting for third in the championship with um, Aaron Gwynn and Sam Blinkensop. Um, no, yeah, sorry, that's, that's, I, did, I said that wrong. Greg Minar and Giathin were fighting for first and second. They were ahead. Right. So they were like, that was unachievable for us. But then me... Gwynny and Sam were all fighting for third place in the championship. So we were like scurrying around doing this and then having a wicked time of it. It was rad. Like, like I said, those two were far out ahead. Mm. So we're fighting for third. And then um, I knocked myself out in Val de Sol, put me back so I didn't get any points for that round. So then I was still fighting, but then I was still fighting for top five overall. And then we went to uh, Wyndham mm. for the first time. I didn't really get on with the track for no reason, not an excuse. And then I didn't do very well at that and then got sixth overall. But I still had some momentum and I had some podiums that year and had some podiums before that. And then the first round the following year was South Africa, real worst track ever. Oh, really? Just flat and rubbish. Um, and I knew I was coming on the back foot, but I was confident, I was fit, I was strong. And there was this, there was this drop off at the top and I distinctly remember like looking at this big far away landing and I was like, I reckon I can make a second if I jump to that. Like, and a second's a huge amount, especially I was like, I'm probably going to lose a couple of seconds down there. <laughs> so I might as well just make it up. Try and make one up. And uh, <laughs> I was looking at it, looking at it and I thought, sod it, feeling confident, you know, young, dumb or whatever. Jumped it, all good. Um, it was unreal line. You, you never find a line that's a second or whatever. And then uh, did it in my qualifying and my foot slipped off my pedal and slipped into the floor at really high speed. And obviously, foot's in the ground and my legs kept moving forward and just slap, snapped my ACL in half. Ugh. And then, uh, yeah, I was out for pretty much. Then I went back, had an arthroscopy, which is where you had it all cleaned out and removed or whatever. And then we were just waiting around to see whether I was going to get a replacement or not, mm. or whether it's going to be a patella or a hamstring or whatever. And then um, uh, I ended up trying to race in a brace for a bit because I just wanted to try to get the season going. And I was didn't want to have eight months out. Mm. And it didn't really work. And I lost loads of confidence. Just didn't want to stamp my foot. Yeah, it is confidence. I just like... I didn't want to stamp my foot and hurt my leg and blah, blah, blah. So only at the end of that, I did shit that season and then got... got uh, uh, replacement at the end of the year right wow then that lasted for a year and then I snapped it off again in Rampage the following year oh did it same yeah. one same one yeah and yeah. then I had then after that I just had it removed and I've got no ACL now have you not nah I haven't, I haven't had, had one, for ages I haven't had have one you? for 8 or 9 years is that alright yes. yeah it's fine you just don't even think about it it's just fine once in every 6 months I'll like stamp it yeah. or whatever and it's absolutely fine no way yeah and I almost stamp it and think, oh, it's absolutely. I just think, oh, it's good. I haven't got an ACL to snap in there anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but it, it does. It does feel like bones hitting the bone. But I think that's just any what yeah. it would with anyone. I've never heard you like like talk about. I've never heard you say that was like. No, it's definitely. 
like you said, you, you're on a roll and everything's working out. And you see it every, <coughs> you see it every World Cup, like a kid do good, and then the next week he's doing good again, and then yeah. he's doing good again. It's just yeah. like that roll. And that, I was on a roll, and I was on a good team. I was on a team with Sam Hill. I was on a good bot. I was on Specialized. Um, so what is that bit in your head then, mate? What I, is the I can't put it. I can't tell you what it is because like you're young, you're confident, and you're just like nothing's gonna hold me back. But and I didn't ride thinking, oh, I better not stamp my foot. You just, it's a tiny little bits multiply up and then you just, then you're crap at the end of it. So, <laughs> so, all right. So there's examples of everything though, isn't there? So Minar, what's he doing different then? How has he managed, how is he, because he's not running on like that um, teen spirit. No. Is he? No. You know, like what you're talking about is like before your ACL, you were just, Flying along, not caring, right? The dumb 100%. genius. You what? The dumb genius. The dumb yeah, genius. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you are. Yeah. You are. Then you see so, it. So, what's different in some sports people in their heads that they can? I think. I think Greg is just running on experience and and grit, and he's one of the most competitive athletes that I I personally know. Mm. Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now or type The Ride Companion into your favourite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers!